Yo, this is Underscore, welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we're going to be making a beat for Drake that would fit on Certified Lover Boy, which just came out. It's a very R&B heavy album and it's got a lot of that sort of typical cookie cutter Drake type of music. So we're going to try and replicate that today and just make something really vibey that he would fit on. I haven't got my camera today, so we're going to go in blind. So uh, let's get straight into it. And I want to start off with a good chord progression, which is always a good basis for a Drake R&B type of track. So at the moment I'm using Diva, uh, it's a new synth I'm testing out, it's got a lot of good presets. First preset that we're going to use is called Moon Pit Orchestra and it sounds like this. And I've only got a bit of reverb on there and just EQing out some of the lows, but we will process it more most likely. I'm going to start off working in A minor just because it's my favourite scale. And I'm just going to put in a minus seventh to start off with. Might try that actually instead. We'll also double up the root note. And now for the next chord, I'm just going to copy this over. And then try, there we go. And again. And you can see I'm just changing the middle notes as I move them over to change the chords from minor to major just to fit into the progression that I have in mind. A really standard chord progression here, but it just always sounds good. So we're just going to throw on some RC20, which yeah, I'm going to throw on most things to be honest. There we go, so just adding a bit of character and texture to the sound. And I'm happy with that now, so I'm just going to resample that into an audio track just to save on CPU. So to do this, I'm just going to freeze this track. And that's just going to freeze it, everything in place, uh, including the effects, the, the MIDI, everything. And then the easy part will be just copying it over. And now we've got it in audio. going to change this diva into a one shot. I think I want a bell sound or something like that. So you can see with the bell sound, we're just doing some really simple notes just to add some accents to the, the pad. I'm just going to put RC20 on it again because it's just an easy way to do like quick effects, I find. And then I'm also going to put an effect tricks on it just to give it some variety and sort of movement as the loop progresses. And I just like to turn the mix down a bit and just literally draw in random, really random things. And you can get some happy accidents this way. So next for the melody, I want to add some kind of audio sample, maybe a vocal. So we're just trying this uh, Cymatics vocal sample.
So sounding pretty good. I think we're going to group this together now so that we can actually process this all together as well. Okay, so now that they're grouped together, I'm going to put a shaper box on there so that we can do some cool manipulation. Uh, I find that shaper box is really, really good because of how many different things you can do in there. You can sort of tinker around and just come across a lot of happy accidents. <laughs> So I found this cool preset called Upward in the ducking part of the shape box and you can see it's a filter effect that's giving it a sort of sweeping effect. I've turned the mix down because I don't want it to be too prominent but it gives it just a nice little bit of movement and it's something that you can automate with both the master mix and just the on and off to make it interesting throughout the beat. So I've put in a new MIDI track and that's going to be for the hi-hat. For this I'm just imagining it in my head and I'm going to try and, you know, translate it into the piano roll. copy that over and change it the second time. But you can see it just gives a nice little rhythm to things. And then with the hi-hat I'm going to do the same thing that I've done before with the melodic part in terms of the effect tricks. So it's a really easy way just to make sure that your hi-hat patterns aren't stale. There we go, it's a lot more interesting now and unique. Okay, so with the kick, we're going to keep it really sparse. And just sort of trial and error, just feel it out as you go along. And next we want to start adding in some perk sounds just to fill out the drums a bit more. So first of all, I'm just drawing out the chord progression, basically. So we're just going to mess around with the key of the song because the 808 doesn't sound great at certain points. Okay, so after a bit of playing around, I settled back on the spins 808 and changed the key up to a G. And now this is what we got. We're going to add in a few more effects for transition, some, you know, symbols and things like that. I'm going to finish arranging it and just add some more cool effects and whatnot. So hopefully this video has helped and shown you how easy it can be to make these sort of R&B emotional beats for Drake from Certified Loverboy. To summarise, it comes down a lot to the chord progression that you choose and layering different sounds and then just trying to use good rhythmic patterns when it comes to the percussion. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Let me know in the comments your favourite track from Drake's new album. I'm really keen to see what people think of it. Keep an eye out because next week we'll be doing a Kanye tutorial 
tutorial for Donda. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Otherwise, have a good one. Peace out.